On day one, there was the usual excitement. We're so glad they're back, are we? Anticipation. I'm most looking forward to doing maths and science. But there was also a new test. We had to put it up our nose and it was really ticklish and I didn't like it. The rapid antigen testing regime is part of the government's plan to try to allay concerns during the Omicron wave. It gives us a bit of comfort that if there are any outbreaks at the school, they'll be caught quickly. And there's more comforting news for parents with a cash handout. $500 will be available to help pay for before or after school care. This is all about helping with that affordability, helping with the household budgets. Cases are expected to escalate over the coming weeks, which could put more pressure on hospitals. 27 more deaths have been recorded. The government's focus is also on the economic costs and is continuing to push the Commonwealth to provide support to small businesses. The New South Wales Treasurer has now written to his federal counterpart, claiming the Omicron wave is forecast to cost the state's economy up to $6.3 billion over three months. Well, I do expect a response to the letter. I expect the federal government to stand by small business, just like the New South Wales government is standing by small business. This is a very deliberate strategy by the New South Wales government to air its grievances so publicly. It's clearly trying to pressure the Commonwealth to add to the business support that was announced yesterday. But it appears it also wants to distinguish itself from the Morrison government as it faces four state by-elections in less than two weeks. I support the Treasurer every single day in fighting for New South Wales. And there are a few fronts to fight right now. Ashley Raper, ABC News, Sydney.